Morning viewers, how you doing alright? Where's the sun? Herbert Robert William Hennis aka Owen Reed. check out my YouTube channel at Old Guy Australia. Like, subscribe and let's see what we can get going here, eh? I need a couple more to get to 200, woohoo, not 200,000. Here's where I am, Camel Rock, far south coast, New South Wales, four and a half hours south of Sydney. I'll just show you, there's Camel Rock over there, hope I'm getting it. Yeah, morning sun. I'll go slowly. There's the beautiful beach. There's Bermagui way down there, about five k's. And that's the beach. So, wow, what a divide, what a mess. I don't know where to even start with this stuff. I'm not anybody. I've said this over and over and over. I'm just an old tradie. I'm nothing. On my last legs, I'm in the twilight of my life. You know, I still feel good, but you know, a few aches and pains here and there. But, um, you know, this has come out of nowhere over the last couple of years, this whole situation. Guy ate bat, the world stops. I never believed it from the start. Set me up for a bloody, you know, to really question everything. I never believed it. I never believed it. There were arguments about that. Oh, it was pangolins, it was this, it was that. You know, footage of people dropping dead in Wuhan and, you know, they're driving around blowing this stuff all over the streets. I'm thinking, no, nah, this is bullshit. What is going on here? So here it is two years later on the south coast. We haven't had a case or a death in this pandemic. it has been 1,400 people died. 600 of those died in the first six months in, New in Victoria in um, aged care facilities under Dan Andrews. 500 more have died in aged care facilities around about Australia over the last two years. That only leaves about three or 400 extra. Out of those, the average age death is 82, and they all had comorbidities, or most of them, 80% of them. It's hardly a frickin' pandemic. And I can't even get people to see those simple little facts. I had a guy telling me last night that everybody's 90% vaccinated. I'm like, seriously? God. It's just lie after lie after lie after lie. Turn your telly off. Turn your telly off. Hey, birds. And we've got this amazing group of people, grassroots up, and people like Michael Sims have, and, uh, you know, have created this. And, yeah, Romeo George, you know, Anthony, bloody whatever, and there's all these people, you know, have, have contributed to um, building this grassroots movement against the government i'd like to think i was a part of that in the 70s we didn't believe anything the bloody government said in the 70s two years ago you wanted to burn scott morrison hang him on the off a tree because he was in hawaii holiday daying while australia went up in flames now suddenly he's your savior well he allows the states to run rogue and keeps telling you he can do nothing about it because he can't dictate to the states but he can under our constitution he's abrogated his rights as prime minister he's got to go He's got to go. He's got no balls. He's not standing up to this because he wants it. Understand it's planned. He's planned it. That's why their cabinet, the uh, Premier's cabinet, uh, hasn't been able to uh, release its minutes. The FOI is still in. Freedom of Information is still in. And it hasn't been released. You know? It hasn't been released. You know that, don't you? Senator Rex Parker, South Australia, is fighting to get those minutes released. And he can't. Anyway, we've got all these amazing freedom fighters. And like I said, I'm not anybody, but I'm somebody. Just because I'm a tradie and I'm old, doesn't mean my opinion is of any less value than theirs. And I'm not sure that they know any more about politics than I know. Matter of fact, I'm sure some of them don't. I only got to listen to what Romeo said about preference voting to know that he doesn't really understand the system. Don't get me wrong, I'm not attacking Romeo. He seems to attack everybody with a vitriol of foul mouth abuse. But there's so much division. There seems to be no leader amongst this group. There's millions of us and there's no leader. Everybody's saying they don't want to be leaders. They don't want to be seen as leaders. They don't want to be called freedom fighters. Yet they've all got their own opinion, which they assume is correct. So I watched this live last night. And they're all good men, I'm sure. But boy, the attack on people. You know, Maria Z, Arvi, Rua Rukshan, all in bed with the Cossack, who's all in bed with the UAP, who's all in bed with God knows who. You know, it doesn't stop. 
you know. That Anthony saying that the UAP is a Freemason group and all this kind of stuff, I'm like, seriously, mate. You know, that means that Morgan and Monica, who are wonderful Christian people, have been to jail over their beliefs. You know, they're in bed with them all. You know, so their Christian beliefs have no value at all. They're deceived. They're living an evil life. That's what this guy's saying. I'm like, I can't. The incredulity of listening to these people make their stance and say that their truth is the truth. We are the way. We are the truth. We are the light. Nobody overcomes a government unless they're doing it our way. I'm like, wow, okay. You know, feet, toes, hands, fingers, eyes, ears, buttholes. We're all parts of a body. One body. We have different attributes. That's all, but you can get it done. Why do we have to have this division? Why can't we acknowledge that some people have got faults? We've all got faults, even me. We mightn't like what everybody does. We mightn't like what they believe. We mightn't like what they think. We mightn't like what they acclaim. But surely we can put aside some of those differences and realise that they've got attributes and they have access to people and they've got, you know, points of view. And if we just pull together and let's form a commonality, find the ground where we all agree on and go, this is what we're working towards. We mightn't trust you and you mightn't trust me, but I'm willing to just put that aside just for the moment to push for this and work together. Millions of these people are watching these 20 influencers what do they call them? Content creators and activists and freedom fighters and whatever. About 20 of them arguing amongst themselves. And the language they use about each other is disgusting. Disgusting. The claims they make. I don't give a shit if Craig Kelly offered them 10 grand if Cossack was going to be a bloody speaker. I don't really care. It's got nothing to do with me. I just want the mandate stopped. I don't want kids vaccinated injected. I don't want this. And then you go and tell me, oh yeah, but he said this and she said that and she's only interested in her followers. That's all she's interested in. They're trying to make money off things. Uh, they're trying to, you know, get he wants bloody contributions and he just wants the glory. You think that everybody's in this for everything else other than themselves? Some people are have got egos. Even I've got an ego. So what? Put some shit aside and get on with it. Formulate an opinion, formulate a group, get things sorted. If not, step away. Step away. If you want to take your followers with you, that's how you do it. But this is the division. The government are clapping their hands and laughing at this. They are mocking us and laughing. In marching in the streets doing the hoo-ha, hoo-ha. So what? You know, get something about yourselves. Figure it out, sort it out before it's too freaking late.